Movement number four. Dragon seeks path. Dragon whips his tail. Yo, my man, why you got on that purse, huh? I ain't seen no purse. I'm the big dills. Don't do that. Hundred dollars for showing in the bit at you heard? Get your money up, not your funny up. Monthful podcast, profit, pro digging, making paper till the sun goes down. You dig me? Screw face, John. Yo, what up, son. What it is? Merch what in the what description. Is, well, merch right here at the little bar. You see it? Go get that merch. We have thirty thousand subs. Shout out to everybody who made this possible. All thirty thousand of y'all. If you've been here from, you know, the car, the bathroom. You know what I mean, long way since then. Shout out to everybody for making this possible. Yuri. Yo, J Bills versus K Shine. RBE lift the soul event. What you gonna say, man? Look, I'm gonna let you start it off, man. I'm gonna let you start it, man. How was you feeling about the battle, son? 6 0, K Shine. Definitely 7 0, K Shine. <laughs> I'm not, I mean, listen, if anybody whatever tries to come to debate this. I'll, I'll put it like this anybody who falls for the fake handshake, you lose two rounds automatically. That's why he buys your rec so bad, because he fell over the fake handshake. Listen. You lose two rounds automatically. I'm going to just say this first, before we talk about the rounds. Bro, stop booking these niggas to come into battle rap and make embarrassments of themselves, bro. Like, I don't... <laughs> I don't know. Go ahead. Shoot, man. It's Shoot so your shot, man. Say what you got to it's so clear that niggas is coming in for just a check now. I mean, that it was clear before, but I'm saying, like, I don't get how battle, like, how it's not, okay, as a, here's the crazy part. As a known person, as somebody <coughs> who's coming into the battle rap, you actually have it a lot easier. Because I used to buy it, because the, there's, the, there's the thing where it's like, okay, a lot more people know a lot more about me, so and I don't know as much about him. But do you know how much easier it is to get crowd reaction when people can relate to things you've done before? All he had to have done was be like, um, uh, uh, uh. Like, if he would have said some like, I'm on some cold shit. I would, like, I will fuck every girl in the world. But not yo, bitch. Like, if he would have done some shit like that, yeah. like, and everybody, ah, that shit would have been like, great. It's so easy, because he could have just kept doing young money and weighing things and like saying things that just and big boying him in a way it's it, to me it's way easier to come in as somebody because here's the thing that bad rapper fa fans always lie about a hundred and ten percent of the time this is my last time seeing it to know that they lie about this they put every time a celebrity comes into bad rap or a rapper comes into bad rap or someone who wasn't about it comes back to bad rap this is what bad rappers always do oh we ain't gonna just we ain't gonna be easy on you. This ain't rap. <coughs> this ain't just rap. This is the big league. This is where it's hard at. Nigga, every time, literally, you see the promo leading up to it is that, and then when it gets there, it is just, they they start out and take off their shirt and the crowd goes crazy. Put on Dude. a do rag and the crowd goes crazy. Just the simplest. So I'm telling you, it's honestly <coughs> easier to me as a as a famous person than than, than just a battle rapper. Not to say they're not famous too. First round, J. Mills came. He started first round. Dude, when I tell you, this is the thing I don't understand. How are you coming with bars that are whacker than what you used to spit? Like, you're not no. even better than your old self. I'm confused because it was like, okay, I'll give, I'll give J. Mills this. His presence was good. His presence was good. I, I cannot go as far to say his delivery was good. It could have been good, but... I think his presence was not good. I think the only thing that was good was his flow. He has a very good flow. He's just not... Yeah, him. but I think his presence in the battle was good. I think he carried himself... He did, yeah, his presence... At, at the beginning, yeah. When he came, when he started rapping first round, you could tell he was a lot more confident. But then what started affecting know, him 
Nah, hold on. Here's what the started way. affecting Jay Mills, bro, was when the crowd was not feeling him. That's when he started being like, "Oh, nah, y'all gonna catch this? Oh man, wake up!" Oh, no, we gonna talk. Well, we gotta talk about that too. But let me let me just say this: when he, when I knew it was gonna get shaky, was when he opened with the yoke big and my trouble or what bar, and and it was whack. Yeah, it was whack. It was very yo whack. big and my still trouble or what. It was Nigga. whack. That was whack. That was the fourth. Do I gotta be a rap coach? Like I feel like it's like there are certain things that you can see on the paper, black and white, that'll make you not run into a wall. Like it's not as subjective as people think. All he had to do was make that the fourth bar of something. He should have opened up, said something about colorful touch, something, 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 and then just <laughs> stop, pause, look at the crowd, look up to the heavens. Yo, big, am I still trouble or what? That's all he had to do. He, he I think he, I think, he, I think he telegraphed his, his, he telegraphed, um, way too much. Like, do you know what I mean by that? <laughs> Hold on. No, no, no. no. <laughs> See, what I'm saying is that yo big about trouble of what is supposed to be telegraphed. You're supposed to know from the first bar. I'm not talking says, about with that line. I'm talking about in the battle. I feel like the way he approaches battle well, let me, is like. Let me, well, let me just talk about this this opening for a second. With why it bothered me, and then we'll talk about that. What I'm saying is that that was his zip him up. That was his I'm strapped in. That was his showtime. Yo, how do you. Uh, could you imagine if the battle started and all of a sudden. No, that would be that'd be hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. If a battle started all of a sudden, Short was like, "I'm strapped," just ran in the niggas' face, "I'm strapped," dead, right in the niggas' ear. That would be hard. But <laughs> you can't just start with. I was just like, as soon as I heard that, I was like, "Oh, well, that was his best shit. That's it. That's it." Yeah. I don't think we got much more to look for in this battle. I feel like he 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 telegraphed way too much where he thought everything was gonna land and how he thought it was gonna go and it just didn't work for him. It didn't translate well. It didn't look well. Honestly, it was it was literally cringy. Like, listen, getting... when K Shine flipped out your big and my trouble or what, and he's like, "No, nah, yeah, nigga, keep fucking them up." Fire. I screamed. I literally. K Shine. The K Shine is is a very good battle rapper. I mean, he came with three nigga, rounds. Nigga, when he hit him with that. Harlem shit. The, uh, the, uh, yeah, the, yes, the, that the, that little Wayne. I was like, yo, K-Shine, oh my god, K-Shine yo, the beginning is his... your face about it. Like K Shine is low key getting on that Mount Rushmore type shit. Like he know, like if you want a nigga, th- I think the only person who's thoroughly as crazy sounds zipping people up, like thoroughly zipping people up is K Shine. I feel like every, you, what other battle rapper, because I always feel like even if they're like killing them for two rounds on the third one, they just, like k Shine will sit like, will be killing you on the second round. The third round was his best round to me. His third round was 100% to me his best round as well, because. And I thought his first round, his second round was light to me. His first round to me was crazy. But then his third round was the craziest. Man. Um. <laughs> very wild like the thing is is like his third round he he started it with an Eminem scheme well let's let's, let's my bad let's go to the let's go through the round the first round um go ahead what nothing everything i've said you interrupted me but go ahead but you went to the third round my nigga literally it doesn't matter just go ahead say what you were saying okay so the first round we have um uh, what was it called? K- I mean, K- I mean, we just talked about Jay Mills, but K-Shine's first round was crazy to Definitely me. Crazy. I feel like it set a mood where it made you not want to <laughs> cheer for Jay Mills. And then not only that, but Jay Mills is giving you every reason in the world not to cheer, cheer for him. Yeah. And Did he get booed? Yes. Yes. This is the thing that threw me off, too, is ARP said that uh, at the beginning of the battle how a bunch of people were in the venue that have never been to a battle rap event before. So I assume that those are people that would probably be J Mill fans. That's why like, it was just very weird that like, I don't know if they didn't know how to react or when to react, but they did not. When I tell you the crowd was not feeling J Mills, it was, it was clear as day. It was evident. Well, you, wait, wait, you say that, that like they were supposed to be feeling J Mills. No, I know that. I'm not saying that they were, but I'm saying that that's what I'm saying. Like, it was just, there was no, 
it was just 100% animosity towards Jay Mills, and that was affecting him very much. Like, dude, there was a point where I dead thought the stream was skipping because he reset his bar in the second round. At the end of that, he said the bar like four times, and I was like, dude, it is just not a good bar. Like, you cannot keep coming with these two... Th Duh, he was, like, referencing shows from the 90s, my nigga. That, not, like, big shows from the 90s. Like, he was literally referencing shows from the 90s that people do not even know. Like, dude, like, come on, man, yo. My dude has to take the awards for the most pause-worthy bars. Definitely came with all the pause. When he said the silencer was sucking on, I was like... Like, like sucking on a roll of quarters. He yeah. <laughs> Is K Shine tried to save him? Yes. Because for some reason, Jay Mills kept repeating that bar. And by the second time he repeated, Shine was like, yo, stop. Like, don't say it again. Facts. Like, they're going to kill you. Like, Facts. And, he keep, I was, and I was like, does he not notice that's mad pause? He, like, but he, no, he did because he said that. He was like, man, I ain't doing that pause stuff. I was like, bro. And he kept running those bars back. And I was like, and he had the audacity to have a bar talk about. Now, I know these lines might be going over your head. I said, fuck oh, this, man. You think this is going over our heads right now? Oh, it was just what? Like, it just was not good. It was very dated. It was very dated. You know what it was like? <coughs> you know what it was like? Okay, like, if y'all want to know the energy that it felt like, it felt like Inez versus DNA. That's what it was like. It was like E Ness's vibe versus DNA. Like, dude, he all he was begging. Like, my son was like, yo, please just just get and there was a couple of bars that he had in the second round that was okay. I mean, there was a couple of bars that were okay that Jay Mills had, but dog. There was a couple. There was a couple. There was a couple that hit. There was a couple that hit, I'll say that, but full of the bag of the ball, guys. <laughs> Had a couple, yeah, of a couple of lines, uh, lines, not for anything, but lines. But man, yo, overall, not a good. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't think there's one moment in any of Jay Mills' line, but rounds where I was like, okay, I'm rocking with this. It was just, if it wasn't the best, it was was boring. Yes, that's the best it was. At his best, it was boring. At his worst, it was like cringing. And people gotta learn when to stop rapping too, because it's like, man, when you get to a certain point where you're just like, all right, bro, like. It, it starts to make it le worse for you. It doesn't make you better because you're rapping longer. And, like, that's something where people need to know, like... It's like, you know, like, ooh, if you're making somebody uncomfortable, you have to feel that, bro. Like, you have to feel that the energy. the thing that I killed me is he also had a bar in there where he was talking about what K-Shine's like. He probably gonna talk about his whip, the color of something, something. And I was like... No... No, I mean, you are the person who's rapping like that right now. Like, if you would have said you'll coop the color of dandruff, I would not have bought it an eye. I've been keeping a buck with you between, <clears throat> but yo, the thing that's so, I don't know, son, it was it was dated in such a weird way because Mook was kind of dated a little bit, but it was like it sounded and it resonated a lot better. And I think part of that would be the reason that. You know, a lot of people, I think, were anticipating Mook come back way harder than Jay Mills. I don't think people really cared about Jay Mills coming back the way that they they sized it to be. You know what I mean? I feel like they made a makeshift card around this. I don't think, like, I don't think this was meant to be, like, something, like, make, I don't know. But anyway, so, let's go to the second round. The second round, to me, was the closest Jay Mills ever got to getting around. If somebody wants to just jump out of three series of windows, Facts. maybe they can give that second to Jay. I mean, maybe. But the one thing I will say that was bothering me about K-Shine is he had way too many Mills flips. He did. Yeah, he did. Way that too is, many. Yeah, way too many. It was like, okay, okay, okay. And it was, was like when he... Mm -hmm. My bad, what? And it was just like, I mean, I know K-Shine is a person who does do a lot of name flips, but... Usually, I think they're a lot better. I feel like for Jay Mills, it's just kind of like... He would have a lot like that much. This was what his rounds consisted of. Mills flips was the base. So, when when he wasn't giving you, like... Yeah. You know, when he wasn't giving you a personal, when he wasn't giving you a what's your life like, he was Mills flipping. 
Right. So right. okay, so usually people's base is just random bars, right? So when when they're not insulting you, the best battle rappers, that's like a filler. That's like a filler, right? Right. So his filler was Mills Flips, the yeah. whole time. Just, yeah, it was. And he kept using the same one. I'm like, bro, I get it. Mill and Neil sound alike. I get yeah. it, bro. <laughs> I get it. Like you don't have to. I get you. Yeah, Sean, I still think Sean got the second round. No facts. Like, yeah, hey, but that was his. That was his uh, yeah. worst round. But he a hundred percent got it. But, Definitely but, was his worst round. Yeah. Um, the third round we already a little bit touched on. No, nah, we gonna touch about this third round, bro. The third round was crazy. I don't know what. I mean, K. Sean must have been like. All right, I'm gonna I'm let him live for these two. I'm gonna kill him the first, I'm gonna love the second, and the third, I'm gonna get him right out of here. There was parts where Jay Mills was just like, okay, yeah, yeah, you kill him. Yeah, right yeah. yeah. <laughs> like he started it with an Eminem, um, what was it? Uh, the Forgot About Dre scheme. That was fire. Then he just completely like left that and went into just, yo. Punch, yo, punching this dude's head off, son. He was talking to him. That was the illest part. The whole round was talking to him. Like, Killing him about the Birdman shit, signing to cash money. Bro, uh, when he was switching into the other voices, when he said Tiger or something on the bus, like, what are you doing? Like, he was playing yeah, with him. He, he was, was making him. He was degrading him. He yeah. was like, he was... That third round is what he did to Averb all three Yeah, rounds. yep, yep. But, facts. like, he just did that shit where, like, Shine does this thing where, like, he transport, like, body bag mode where it's like, you can't beat me. It's like, and it's not even that I'm beating you, but I'm going to make it where after this battle, people are going to look at you like a douche. Dude, yeah. Where, like, I'm going I'm to I'm give you a fake high five, too, and then when you seal it with that, it's just like... All right, man. Just go back to go back to cash money. Man. Yeah, because I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, man. After seeing a performance like that, to me, like as a business person, like I would not look at Jay Mills like a bag when it comes to this battle rap shit. Because I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't know too many people who gonna want to see him rap again after doing something like that. And if he, he did, does, Chase shines around. He said, "So you booked for five battles, or you back back." I hope that's not true. I hope bro. not either, bro, because that's what I'm like, dude. I hope you got four more battles. If you battling big names, too, would you know they're going to be... Course. Of course. that's what I'm saying. You know it's going to be big names. They're going like, to try to do Mills and Mook, too. They're going to try to do... Oh, God. Yeah, and the thing that bothers me the most about Jay Mills is you can tell how much he did not pay attention to the culture and tried to cram. Yeah. Like, he did, to, yeah, like, fast. Like, in the last moment, tried to get everything he could. And, because I'm like, bro, if you paid this a, a little attention to battle rap, you would have done a lot better. And then there's, like, one round where he says, NWX, nigga. It, it threw me off. I'm going to keep it a buck. Go ahead. When he said, I'm Vince Bischoff. Yes. Oh, my. I just, <laughs> dead ass. Bitch off. This is the thing that threw me off. Is nah, that, hold on, hold on. No, say no. Vince Bischoff. Vince Bischoff. Okay. That's what we doing. Okay. That's definitely That's what he was on, yo. I'm. This is the thing too, is that you Vince Bischoff, right? So you ain't Eric Bischoff, but you ain't Vince McMahon. You Vince Bischoff. I feel you. My dude came with the 2001 Jones, bro. Like, I'm just like, yo, like, it just throws me off, bro. I just do not book that nigga again. That is not something that I'm trying to hear, bro. Keep it a being with you. That is just like. And, and K Shine did exactly what he was supposed to do and made him look trust. That, that handshake is like his pocket check. It's almost worse than a pocket check because it's it's outside of battle rap. Yeah. You think, okay, boom, and then you just sit there, and then he doesn't even give you like the ah, I'm like he walks away after so many. <laughs> like, Yo, K Shine's energy is crazy. Oh, what I was gonna say was with the face off jump, like when Jay Mills was talking, he was talking. Oh, you cra- froze. You froze. I'll probably go free soon. But yeah, anyways, like he was talking crazy, bro. Jay Mills was talking mad greasy, like he was ready, like he birthed K Shine style and. There was no way in hell that he was going to lose this battle. And I'm just like, bro, like, to come like that, son? What's a bad move, son? 
Yeah. Like, I, I, I just think when people come like that, not only are you, like, coming with whack shit, but you must just be circled by whack people. Because if people didn't tell you, like, bro, you could, you could come better. It's been 15 years. You can come better than this. Yeah, it's that's right. Somebody should have proofread that, John. I mean, I... You froze. Yo, Mumfu Podcast, let us know in the comment section who you think won the battle. J Mills versus K-Shine. I think I got K-Shine 3-0 body clean. Mumfu, bow.